guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new to my channel, then welcome. So today I'm doing an unboxing of a camera that I'm so excited to finally own. But before we jump right into this video, if you're new, consider subscribing and let's get on with this unboxing. Okay, so the camera that I'm going to be unboxing today is the Canon G7X Mark II camera. I have been wanting this camera for so long. My mom actually owns this camera. I have always been so jealous of the quality of her videos just because they look so high quality. I absolutely love the camera that I'm filming on right now. This is actually her old camera that she first got. She only owned it for like a few months and then my dad ended up getting this for her I think for Christmas maybe? Or maybe it was her birthday. It was one of the two events, but she ended up getting a Mark II camera. Right now, I am filming on the Canon, I have to look at the numbers, the Canon SX730HS. And this camera is actually really amazing. It's got great quality, as you guys can tell. I think it's a really decent camera. The only thing is, it's like auto-focusing and like blurring the background. It doesn't really have those features as this camera does. But before I jump into this unboxing, I'm going to do a few specs on both of the cameras so you guys can know just a little bit about each of them. Okay, so the one that I'm filming on released June 2017. It's not really that old. That is the one that I'm filming on now, the SX730HS. Then this one, the G7X released in February 2016. So this one is older, but honestly, I just feel like the quality is better on that one. The only reason I know, like I said, is because my mom already owns this camera, so I've used her camera to vlog on for her channel. So I kind of know the difference, and I can tell the difference. Price difference between the two, so the one that I'm filming on right now ranges, I'm just looking at Best Buy because that's where we got my camera from. The one I'm filming on right now is $379, and then the G7X is $649. So there definitely is a price difference, but I did want to say, I know it sounds like a lot for a camera, but I actually did end up getting this on sale for I think like maybe $5.99 so that was a really good deal and I know that if you guys wait sometimes or if you could find different websites Best Buy will price match certain websites all the ones that we were trying to price match with they would not just because it can't be like a third party seller it has to be from an official website that they price match from it's really confusing because they don't really give like a clear list but if you ask I believe they will show you the list that they will price match to but yeah, so the reason I did end up getting this G7X Mark II camera so early and such at an odd time of the year because I had already planned in my mind that for Christmas I was definitely going to ask for this camera because I just am in love with the camera itself. Basically, we decided to do the challenge on my family channel and on my sister's channel, the whatever you can spell, I will buy it for you challenge. And I ended up getting the correct letters to be able to spell camera. So... I decided to get the camera I wanted, but yeah, I'm really excited to unbox this for you guys. I'm so thankful that I own this camera now, and I'm not just going to like get rid of the one I'm filming on, I'm actually going to let my brother have this one, but enough rambling, let's now get into the unboxing, and then also I will show you guys the difference in like the filming, so make sure you guys pay attention to what I look like on this camera, because once I unbox it, I will show you guys what this camera's quality looks like. Okay, so the very first thing that I have is the warranty, which is good to have. The registration where you can register your Canon product, and then the big manual. <laughs> I usually do not read these unless I have issues and do not understand anything, but it's also nice too because it has like the customer service numbers. This is what we're working with now. So if I remove this, I'm trying to think where's the best part to like remove first. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. So the first thing we have here is this, and this is basically just a little camera strap so you can strap it on your camera. So it's like a wrist strap, I guess I should say, because it doesn't go around your neck or like little cute long ones, but it's a good little wrist strap just so you don't drop your camera. Next we have the battery charger which these are obviously very handy because if you don't have a battery charger you can't use your camera. The battery. 
the stuff is not the interesting part, I know, but I want to show you guys everything that comes in here. And then another piece of paper. Now, the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to see the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I like am one of those people that if I get new things, I'm like scared to touch it at first. Are you guys like that? Like I don't want to scratch it or drop it or anything. But here she is. Oh my gosh. Look at her. She's so pretty. The Canon G7X Mark II. I am so excited to say that on this camera. I have always wanted this. Another reason I really wanted this camera was just because... I know a ton of YouTubers recommend this camera and a lot of YouTubers actually have this camera. Another thing that I did want to mention is the reason I wanted to get this camera is because the only thing I do not like about the camera I own is if you're in very low light, it does not pick up anything. Like, we went mini golfing and it was in like a black light. I couldn't use any of my footage for that video just because it was so dark in there that my camera was just going blurry and would not pick up. And I'm pretty sure you guys hear me all the time going, okay, my camera's going blurry. It's just because it's not a really good camera in low light, but it's really great. Like, I have the ring light on right now. So, like, if I turn off the ring light, <laughs> that's what I look like. Yeah. So that's it in natural light. With the ring light, it actually it looks really great. And if you're outside, the camera works really amazingly. But the thing I love about this camera, because I have had experience with my mom's camera, is because the low light like ability on this thing is amazing. Like she filmed the same time I was filming and all of my clips were blurry. You couldn't see what I was even doing. Hers, you could see like good enough as to what we were doing. Here's the camera. And just like the camera I have now, it does have the flip screen so both cameras have this put this down it does have a flash on this camera if you push a little button right here the flash will pop up okay flashes back up speakers are right here so we have the power button right here and then we have the little turn dial right here and there's tons of different options that you can choose from and also something I love about this is there's actually a turn dial at the very top so you could change your exposure, so if you're outside and you're like, whoa, that's too bright, you could easily bring it down, whereas this camera, I have to actually stop the footage, manually go in there and change the exposure. So that's something I do like about this. On the back, as you guys see, we have the record button. Something I will have to get used to is the record button's actually on the top of my camera on this one and it's at the back on this one. Now, enough talking about the camera. Really excited I officially have it out of the box. We are going to put the battery in the camera, my SD card, and I'm going to show you guys a transition. So, remember what this looks like because we're gonna switch over to this camera in three, two, one. Okay, so here is the new camera. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell a difference. I can't believe I'm finally filming with this camera. I'm in love with the way this looks. I did want to show you guys what it looks like without the ring light. So, bear with it for a second. So, as you guys can tell, I feel like it definitely is a lot brighter than my other camera was. And I'm actually not even facing a window right now, but as you can tell, I'm getting closer. And, like, look how good the focus is, even in low lighting. Like, holy cow, do you guys see that? Like, you literally can see everything. Like, look how clear my eyes are. And this is, like, no ring light. And see how fast the focus just focuses right back on. The ring light is so bright. I do want to show you guys a little bit of a focusing thing. If you guys remember, I was having a little bit of a hard time focusing on this camera, but as you guys can tell, it focuses really fast, really amazingly. So that's something I am loving. But yeah, that is the camera, guys. I have been wanting this for so long, and I'm just really thankful that now I own this camera. And the quality just to me just looks really amazing compared to my other one. So I guess that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed the unboxing. I am, I don't know, I think I've said a million times how excited I am to own this camera, but it's the truth. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, check out the other ones on the screen. 
Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below if you guys could tell a difference between my old camera and this camera. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below if you guys are excited to see new videos on this camera. And subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.